Alright, let's continue Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I should have museum now. Hello, hello. Time for an island-wide broadcast, your source for island news. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 10.13am this happy Sunday, September 10. It is not that time now. Uh, now for today's news. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on Shamblonia. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Shamblonia. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. From me, I do hope you enjoy another fine day of luxurious Shamblonia living. Okay. Yes. Wait. It's Sunday. I'm curious if they sell turnips on Sunday. Let's see. Alright. Whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many... Flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. Why is it so? Oh, right. The shopping thing. table. And what suit? Alright, cool. Who's ready to do some mirroring, eh? now. Congratulations on the construction of your new home. A few tips for comfortable living. Decorating mode, open storage. Okay, lights on and off. Everything's still going to be very basic. I don't know why I have that photo. They sent me cherries. Wait, what? They got cherry trees now. But 
don't remember them doing that ever. It just clicked, I was like... I'm used to cherries being the fruit that I get normally. Now I have them. Okay. I gotta be more careful about how I set this up. I move items in inventory. Ah, there you go. Okay. Oh, hey, Varun, what brings you here? Just want to chat. I think you're better at this morning thing than I am. I feel that. Yeah, you've been training, shorty? That's the latest. Gotta start the day off right. Muscles are a lifestyle, shorty. I'm taller than you. What do you mean, shorty, eh? <laughs> oh, look who's here. But I don't have a shovel. Wait, you're still roaming around? What are you doing? Oh well, it's great to see you. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop for a chat. Okay. Well, we now have Blather's tent. Unfortunately, he's going to be sleepy. Oh, pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Will, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. Splendid job indeed. Thanks, you was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open the museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display? That is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Let me, let me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond this river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say, I can't just hop over it, you say. Who oh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Will, while I transmit the vital data to your Nocturne. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, man? Hey, you see? With wood gathered from Shamblona, you can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Hootie hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Will, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to this cause. Guys, well, straight chillin', nice. Same. Please let me know if you have items to donate. I'll need assistance. I am here to help. Woohoo. Alright. 
Ah, uh, the other ones already have their thing red. Okay, well. One at a time. So we learn stuff. This is undoubtedly a carp. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your carp? Yes. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Oh, the carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in their throat, strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb when dealing with other species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths. Although having neither thumbs nor fingers, I am quite safe from this little fellow. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. See, this is what I've missed. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else. Yes. I mean, it takes longer, but that's fine. We learn stuff. Ick, a bagworm! The horror, the repugnance, good heavens! I must maintain my composure. Um, I beg your pardon. Bugs? I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. I'm not sure what my plan is, but it'd be good to be through if I wanna. Uh, maybe in like an hour and a bit if you're still around. Cause I just started Animal Crossing and I wanna play it for at least like an hour and a half. Should be lengthy enough. Please tell me, what is this thing about? Ah, I see. In that case, <laughs> The bagworm is in fact not a worm at all, but a caterpillar instead. The filthy fraud uses silk and leaves to spin a cozy bag for it to hide inside, hence the name. Some find it cute the way bagworm dangle from trees, but the truth is they're gluttonous monsters. The beasts love to stuff their bug gullets full of leaves, devouring the very trees they hang upon. Wretched villains is what they are. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best care here. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else. Yep. I don't care how long this takes, I like blathers as facts. Another bug for you. A tiger beetle, what a wretched thing. The last time I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Yes. Eh, I see. In that case, ahem. <laughs> The tiger beetle is extremely fleet of foot, though it runs in a rather peculiar way. That is, it sprints, then it stops, then it sprints again. These speedy maneuvers to run down its prey. You see, tiger beetles, like a real tiger, is a powerful predator. The mere thought of it giving chase gives me the willies. Ah, tigers are terrifying at any size. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for all your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Oh, for sure, just saying it'll be around for a while. Yeah, man, I'm down. Just after Animal Crossing. <laughs> if you had been here maybe 15 minutes sooner, I would have just started now because I wouldn't have started Animal Crossing. Okay. Tiger butterfly. Yeah, a tiger butterfly, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm a blood sauce. Would you like to learn more about the specimen? Tell me. Uh, I see. In that case, ahem. Tiger butterflies are known for their majestic wings, which may consider it quite beautiful. Truth be told, I find them monstrous. Those striped patterns, they give this owl the goosebumps. And while you may imagine young tiger butterfly larvae to look like lovely green caterpillars, it's not so. Why, when tiger butterflies are but babes, they're covered in unsightly white, brown, and black spots. In this way, they camouflage themselves as... as bird droppings. Putrid pests, indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> Though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Okay. The Black Bass. This is a black bass. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your black bass? Yes. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. The black bass is a formidably strong fish, and as such, 
it is a common target for sport anglers. In some areas, there are even those who professionally catch just black bass. Yet in other areas where they are not native, they are considered an ecological nuisance, invasive even. One cannot help but wonder who is to blame for their invasion, too. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need ten museums. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of the same with kangaroos. They're considered our national animal, but they're pests, technically. <laughs> it's this. I forget the ratio, but there's, there's an insane ratio of humans to kangaroos in Australia. They outnumber us by quite a bit. Probably should have waited to see if... Oh yeah, the stretch thing. I forgot about the stretch thing. Tape that for grease stretching. Let's stretch. I mean, this is a healthy thing to be doing. I'm just pressing the buttons, though. Very wholesome. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Rotate your arms like that. Round and round it goes in a circle. Now, left, right, left, right. It's not doing it quickly. Twist. You got to twist. It's not twisting correctly. Why not? Now, push down your chest. Rotate your upper body. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Eh, eh. And uh, we slow down now. Excellent! I'm just saying, Charles is retired. I'm available. <laughs> okay, shells. I should leave the watering until it pops up as a daily task. to be careful where I plant trees this time. I'm not going to end up with the same situation. Come on. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's a cop.
I guess I can get bait now, now that I have the shovel recipe. I should probably make one. Um, ooh, bottle. Here is a recipe to DIY yourself a mirror. Table mirror. Alright, I should make myself a shovel in the pole, so I'll just go and get supplies. I love how already I have a house and everyone's still tent life. Still getting used to the buttons again. I mean, I'm just gonna take everything I, I feel is valid. Alright. So, you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? This should be a piece of case. Cake. Well, hello there, Will. Uh, are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, and you can freely change up the flooring and the wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Okay. Ah, don't worry. You can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature of the Nook stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item. A Nook miles ticket. A what? Nook Miles Ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket in the counter at the airport, so use it whenever the mood strikes. Now go enjoy life in the freshly built home. Indeed. Okay, uh, I want to sell. Congratulations on the new home. I have something I would like to chat about, if you have a moment, that is. It is a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I completely understand. No pressure. Sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture. Building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a little limited here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so we need to set them aside for building a shop. I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From trees and rocks? Our environmental review suggests there'll be zero impact to the native flora or fauna, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this or any other, this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. 
Uh, I want to sell first. Um, and where's the pole? That's for sale. Let's see what you have. Candle. Cooking stove. Axe. As long as I keep buying stuff from them, nothing but. Hey, guess what? You got a decoration. You're welcome. Apparently I can't put it any closer. <laughs> okay, good enough. Alright, uh... Guess first things first. Jeez, it's been a while. No, not that way. Okay. Looks good. There we go. Oh, thank you for the follow. Whoever that was, uh... Oh. Okay. The important thing is, like, I get a crafting bench for the house. Is this all the rocks I have? I feel like there was one more. Oh. Oh. There we go. Bad position, I don't think. Let's put it back in. Uh, chat member, I'm only playing by myself, sorry. But typically when I play games, I just play them with friends. But you're welcome to stick around and watch if you want. Gulliver! Already licked all of these cookies. Had to test for raisins. <laughs> I don't want to be flotsam. 
Can I be Jet Sam? It sounds more rugged. Blot Sam? Way Anchor, check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? No, you blocked the plank. <laughs> Thank you so smart. We're trying to. Hey, I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Will. I found something that might uh, help things along. Here you go. What did you give me? Oh, nice. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get the shop, the faster I can buy free weights. Go team Shamblonia, shoddy. How much did you give me? Oh, okay. Nice, thank you. Yeah. Ugh. Do, do you have any pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading a vacant expression as a yes. <sighs> Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Haha. <laughs> Don't worry, the fellas will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh. My, uh. Oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like my. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm. That could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last a couple of hours. You. Yes, you. Will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for them. Really? Wow. I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I washed up at Old Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. I will say what you do in New Leaf is better than this. Okay, there we go. I like the answering questions thing. An ironing board. What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Ah, I knew it. Thanks for doing your part for Shamblonia. Oh, I got an idea. If they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. Nuggets? No, what is it? I figured out how to make a shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes I got with my miles. If I remember right, it's called Pretty Good Tools Recipes. So far, everything I've built from there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time for him. Okay. Damn it. I mean, it's nice because that shovel is going to expire after all this, but I would have preferred actual resources. One. Oh. Okay. Well, this is going quicker than I thought it would. One more. Hmm. 
All right, that was quick. There's the other rock I was thinking of. Hey, did you find them? Got them right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Alright, pieces of crayon back in there. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oh, hi, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, that happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now, Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Oh, I'm saved. Nothing to do now, but pays back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Gulliver for the first time. Okay. <laughs> I got my warrior outfit fast. It was the first thing I bought on day one. I just got delivered. Hey, cat. I'm not going to wear it all the time. Oh no, but I need that. Oh, it's gone. Wait, no, it's not. I don't have the ring thing. <gasps> don't. Please don't vanish. Okay, I got it. I caught a pill bug. That's a tough act to swallow. Let's hear some facts about this. Please let me know if you have any items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Make a donation. Pillipak, what a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Uh, I see, in that case, ahem. Ugh, the pill bug. Children delight at the way these beasts roll into balls when poked. But the appeal is utterly lost to me. One day, look at. Oh, one look at their ugly. One, look at their leggy undersides. <laughs> look at how they wriggle. Young pill bugs share their exoskeletons as they grow, and in doing so, sprout another pair of legs. As if 12 appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say, yuck. Anywho, it's my sincere thanks for your donation, and though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. With this, we need nine donations. Okay. Wait, what are you two talking- Cat, why are you calling Lello sugar tits? Did I miss something? <laughs> what? I turn away for a second. You're trying new things, I see. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, man. I don't know why, but just like Robert De Niro and Meet the Parents just came to mind. Like, I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? I don't know why. How many iron? I can't remember how much you needed. Okay. Oh wait, not you. Yo. Uh, let's see. No. But, but how much do you, what do you need again? Oh, it's 30. Okay. Well, in that case... I can take this home. Or put it outside, really. Okay. Probably at home for now. Then I can store the stuff and just build whenever I need it. To start. Look at all the gold, eh? <laughs> it lucked out, alright. Alright, oh, it all goes automatically. For a sec, I thought the mouse's ears were a fish. Okay, so I mean, I can go to the other side of the river. Else I'll put this in the house. Nice. Alright. I mean, it doesn't look great, but... It'll do. You had this dude used to hang out with that gave nicknames to everyone, and then he called you Judge because you played a judge on stage. I mean, it's fitting, it's not creative. Oh, that is a very tiny ir ironing board. Oh, I'll put it here.
I feel like I was not doing this day two the first time I played this. I'm just already to this part of the island. I got sent cherries. I don't remember them sending second fruits. But yeah, I got cherries without going anywhere. When I read that, I just thought of that dating sim I played with Gordon Ramsay, I was using that kind of thing. Oh man. <laughs> dating sim. Okay. You get three fruits without online. You had cherries as natives, orange as sister, and apples in the mail. Right, so I got cherries in the mail. It didn't click right away because I was like, wait a minute. Peaches are my, my native fruit this time around. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Plant these somewhere where they're not in the way, so like, probably here. Not, not there. Like, down this line here. I hear it, where is it? I don't want them too close together. This is not safe, is it? That's gonna land. I have to wait. I have to wait. Okay, and um, this one can go over here for now. You got miles for the first present landing in the water. Oh. Yeah, but I don't want that yet. A what? Oh. <laughs> Guess. Yes! No, I'm keeping the warrior hat. At least for today. I guess I got one more for planting peach. Put it. Somewhere it's not going to get in the way. Like, here's probably a good spot. There we go. Visit an island today, but not yet. Wait. Is there anything else to redeem? Ah.
I mean, I got plenty of peaches across the river. I'm not gonna get like the miles in the row thing. Do you wanna get peaches so you can craft the peach baby thing? Peach baby thing? Peach baby thing? What do you mean, peach, peach baby thing? Not quite enough to get that one. Peach baby, hot peach baby. It looks like a peach, but when you interact with it, a tiny baby pops out. It's weird and you like it. What the hell? I've never seen this before. the first time I'm hearing of something like that. Rusty people, you don't have the peaches. Yeah, that makes sense. What is it classified as? I guess a toy, right? I'm sure it's not like a literal baby. I wonder if it's based off anything. Like, if something like that actually existed. Is it like a Cabbage Patch thing? Like the Cabbage Patch dolls or whatever they were? Except that I guess it's a peach baby. I wonder if it's a play on that. That's probably that, now that I think about it. It's a surprise box, but with a peach and baby instead of a box and a clown. Right, okay. I guess I'll maybe see it for myself eventually. Since I, I imagine I'd be getting peach recipes pretty often. Wait a minute, did the, the dude give me a normal shovel? I got a normal shovel. I just realized what, what a big deal it is. Gave me a normal shovel. Oh, yes, it's super clean. Oh, no. There's more here. Hang on. What is this fish? 
don't have a rod? No, I do. I haven't bought the ring thing yet. I prioritized other stuff first. Really? Nah. I was hyping for more, but I'm disappointed. One thing I don't like about weeds is that they grow along those stretches in the back. Recipe. There we go. Cool. That's what I needed. Just spamming Y here. I know, I know, the ring thing. Once I get the better tool recipes, that's when I'll I'll go for the ring thing. sell stuff right now. Keep the manila clam to make baits. Okay. Apparently I don't have the fish yet. Okay, blathers. Two fossils, but I want to identify them one by one. Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island, but I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hehe. <laughs> this is most assuredly an Anclio tail. My feathers. What a fabulous fossil. 
this Anklia tale would be a sizable step toward opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Yeah. Wonderful, I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved Anklia tale. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Go for it. Wonderful, it is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ho oh, ho, Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? I have even heard recent theories that it attacked predators. Can you imagine such behavior in a herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoots, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Yes. This also applies to the fossils you brought this time, but only a specialist like myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find, whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need eight donations. Okay. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo hoo. After some consideration, I safely declare this fossil to be a saber tooth tail. A splendid specimen in superb condition. Indeed, we would be one step closer to opening our museum with a saber tooth tail like this. Would you consider donating this relic of the past to further our museum's future? Yeah. Wonderful, I'll add this to our collection of utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved saber-tooth tale. Might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Go for it. Fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Chief actor in my most terrifying nightmares, the saber-tooth tiger was a mighty predator of long ago. Its most famous feature, obviously, is its razor-sharp, eight-inch long... t t t t t fangs I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional of me. Come on, Blathers, stiff up a beak. Uh, what? While no one has ever has seen a living specimen for some 10,000 years, we must remain ever vigilant. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'll gladly accept your generous donation. Okay. I will do this because I enjoy this segment. I love how all I've been doing is just cleaning up, and yet it's eaten up so much time. Come here, fish! Okay. That's a new one. And there goes my rod. Tell you what, that's one thing I'm missing about New Leaf now. <laughs> The tools that don't break. It is quite nice to never have to worry about that. I mean, I think in this one they could have made it so the gold ones don't break at least. Is that too? <laughs> Sorry, I got a real shovel.
I don't need to go for that tiger butterfly, it is fine. Probably gonna hit the next weed milestone. out of the way so then the island is nice and clean. Settle self for quite a bit. I haven't exactly been doing anything to try and get more bells quicker. Sweet success. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay, four for each. Done. All right, well. No fish and no bugs. No, not that. There we go. I don't know if the ladybug will be reachable. For oh, I don't have a net anyway. Alright, this looks clean. I 
kind of want an iced tea now. Just saying the page. Okay, here, balloon. didn't land in the river. Safety vest. Okay. I mean, if I keep the mustache on, I can be like a parking inspector. This is a rock. All right. Yeah, <laughs> not enough iron. Halfway-ish. Still needs more. I think that's everything for now. Clean. First bladders. Assess fossils. donating the stuff individually so I can see. Okay, first fish. This must be a bluegill. That might interest you in a few fascinating facts about your bluegill. Go for it. Wonderful, I love nothing more. The bluegill is incredibly common, a bit too common depending on where you are. They eat anything that fits in their mouth and are highly adaptable. The bane of fishermen in some areas, bluegill is often the only fish to be caught. But looking in its wee beady eyes, I must say, I see no ill will in it. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. By the by, yeah, yeah. One at a time. The wolf roach. Ah, a wolf roach? What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Go for it. Ah, I see. In that case, eh. The wolf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. This skittering scavenger and its uncouth appetite keep help keep beaches clean, it is said. But I dare say their long antennae and bulging eyes turn my stomach unappetizing indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. 
And enough bug. And though and though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else. Yeah, I do. Yeah, a honeybee. What a wretched thing. At last time I blessed us. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Go for it. Ah, I see. In that case, yeah. Did you know it takes a team of honeybees working together to transform flower nectar into honey? Indeed, forager bees suck nectar from flowers into their honey stomachs and then fly to the hive. Hive bees then chew the substance and spit it into the honeycomb, fluttering their wings to dry it out. Yes, you could say honey is a tasty tribute to the hard work of a humble honeybee. Ah, oh, my. You mustn't confuse my lengthy description for admiration. At the end of the day, honeybees are still insects and thus still ghastly. A wee bit less ghastly than most, I'm, I admit. Any hoots, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best care here. Ooh, could it be? It is a Diplo tail dip. I had never thought I'd lay my eyes on such a well-preserved Diplo tail dip. Well, dear me, might I give a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable. Go for it. Wonderful, it is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that it is a center... Did you know that its center of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind leg was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Would that we were also... Would that we were also gifted. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this one? Could it be it is... Oh, man. Is it like Euthanopteron? I don't know. I probably got this wrong. I never thought I'd lay my eyes upon this well project. Okay, I'm putting this into Google Translate thing. Text to speech. How did I do this last time? I think it's you just put English to English. Yeah, and then it's English to English, so then we do this. Okay. So what is it? Eustenopteron. Oh, that's Spanish. English. Eustenopteron. Eustenopteron. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Wonderful. It's fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Eustenopteron is famous for being the link between fish and land dinosaurs. Land animals before... I can't read, it's like close to midnight. The link between fish and land animals long before dinosaurs. It seems to have had strong fins capable of pulling it around areas where the water was shallow. When most creatures lived in the sea, they dreamed of land. If not for them, we mightn't be here today. Imagine if we had not left the oceans. How might fashion and music be different in an aquatic world? How would we resolve differences? Perhaps some sort of ink squirting contest of champions? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need two more donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept contributions. Okay. Close.
All right, I need to craft a new fishing pole. And net. Now with this, I'm going to be picky with villagers, so I'm in no rush to fill the town. I guess sell. all the rest. Nice. <laughs> I have most of the funds for the house already. This isn't really me trying so hard. This is just like general activities around the island. The only thing left is just to do the ticket thing that's waiting here. Oh boy, this menu. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, uh, Shamblonia Airport. Nice to meet you, I'm Orville, ground crew for Dota Airlines. Dota Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to visit another island, invite friends to this one and go on a mystery tour. This is the place to be. Oh, we've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes the letter's just better, you know? If you want to send someone a note, take a gander to your right. We got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're Will, right? It's a small island. Word gets around. I just got a Nook Mile tickets from Tom Nook with Will written on it, which makes it yours. So if you want to use this ticket, you gotta say the magic words. I want to fly. Got it? So, well, you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Raja. By the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk. So use it whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? Use the ticket. So you want to use your Nook Miles ticket. Raja. In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's check. You all pack? Tools ready? Yep. Alright, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy, got a walker who needs wing. Over, roger. When you're when you ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Oh, 
<laughs> All right, we are two down, and Doc, that's the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. First time getting your pontoon sweat on tour? Let me give you a brief mystery island procedure. First, we run Finder's Keeper protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours if you can carry it. Next, break a tool, forget one, I can requisition your replacement. Gotta charge you miles though. Also, there's one red line item you need to memorize, like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. I actually burn the flight plans afterwards. Security reasons. Can't explain more than that. Think that's everything? Go explore. If you get into trouble, ask yourself. What would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be holding a pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees, chop some trees. Okay. I actually didn't bring an axe. There's flowers. I don't think there's... Oh, there's a villager over there. Who is it? I'm going to be very picky with my villagers. It's a bear. Barreled. Nice to meet you. I'm Barreled. I'm visiting this island today. Yeah, well, from Sambaloni. That's real cool. This island's real neat, right? Let's have some fun together all here, cubby. Um, Barreled? That just doesn't sound like a real name. I'm good. Last time I played this, I went with the first, the first ones I saw. Not this time. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, the five o'clock shadow, I think, is also the. It's five o'clock shadow, and I guess, I mean, what a tiger print. Almost look like leopard. Just looks like someone that's running a nightclub, you know. That's it. More iron. That's what I need. It's okay. No rush this time around. Plant coconuts on the beach, though, so that's gonna be good. I'm sure barreled is someone's favorite. Statistically, that's gotta be the case. Come on, iron. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, yes! Okay. Four. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near 30, but... Whoops. I was gonna say, there should be one more. One, two, three, four. Seems four is pretty average, so that's another 12. I could be very close to it. I also think, can I bring this with me? I don't think I can, right? No. On your first ticket, you found Kiki, and they're firmly on my island. Never allowed to leave. <laughs> yes, I know how much you like Kiki Cut. That would have made you pretty happy finding that first try. I was relaxing yesterday while reading comics when I thought of this recipe. 
I put this in a bottle, so check it out. This recipe is for sure a hit. You'll tell it's love it too. Cute asadas and candy. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna take flowers with me. I already got one. I'm not done yet. Like, just these three should be enough. One of each color. And then they'll eventually spread out. Butterfly, try not to confuse it for a sea moth. Okay, I don't thought I have enough for the. Yeah, I have enough for the tools now. How much space do I have left? All right, I have quite a bit. I need to shake the trees. And need to be ready as well. Hold on. One of these will have. Ha ha! Yes, cut a loss. All right, got it. Not today. Now it should be safe. Oh, why do I get the feeling it's... Ah, it's gonna be up here. That's unfortunate. The furniture is on high ground, I think. I'll collect the weeds as well, like, I can sell them. It counts for nook mile things, I think, anyway, so... It's worth it, right now. Quite a bit you have to collect. Alright, well, pretty much done with this island. This is the time. Alright. If Lalo is still around, we can do Boulder's Gate. Because I think that's all I needed to do today. Let's just get the island. Got my stuff going now. Okay, here are the cricket. This one's kind of hard to track down. Hear it. But it's hard to pinpoint. Mm -hmm. 
status. Oh my god, I was too slow. I need the wheel. It's alright, there's plenty where that came from. I should have opened the menu. There was no fo I think the fossil's on high ground. Yeah, that's a shame. I don't have a ladder. Okay. I got a bottle recipe, right? Yeah. Furniture couldn't be acquired. May as well get the shells. Alright, let's just head back. There's nothing else to do here. Well, bad luck. I'm ready. Oh. All right. Well. Let me get organized here. But yeah, if you're still around, Lolo, give me a heads up. Otherwise, I'll keep playing this. Uh, I mean... Let me go see how much I have. Present. All right, cool. Let me just finish things off. If I have the iron, then I'll get the... Do I have it? Am I one short? I'm two short. Ugh. All right, well, it's not going to happen today. That is unfortunate. Alright, let me plant the flowers, the coconut, and that should do it. Otherwise, I was gonna go chop wood, but since I'm not gonna get this today anyway. Okay, well, I can put my little garden back here. Behind stuff, it's fine. I'll just move the barrel and stuff out of the way. Okay, let me water these things. So we don't have like a mismatch. Okay. Let me go buy the better recipe. Okay. 
Okay, stronger tools. Right, not that. Okay, now coconut planting. I can't believe I'm just two pieces shy. Thinking ahead. I want these to be pretty aesthetic. And then same thing over here. Using it as measuring. was gonna go in. Bottled ship, that's nice. I've learned to not have them be visually in the way of the ocean, so keep them relatively far apart. I don't need that many anyway. But I think this is going to look nice. It's like a beachfront. I'm going to put the shop, like, loosely here on this corner. We just need to get rid of that tree. So then it's like a walk to the beach and the shops are there. I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, right. Blathers donation. It's the only other thing left. Oh, and watering can, just to finish the plants. Look at 
Dimension. See, this makes sense. You hand them in a bag, unlock the new leaf, or you just hand the poor creature over like that. Okay. Such mystery, such grace. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is Thekosomata? Thekosomata. Thekosomata. Very rough translation of that is shell body. Indeed, this illustrious creature is related to snails. However, it reminds me much more of an elegant feathered friend to the way it flies through the water. With such grace and flying, who wouldn't, uh, one shouldn't wonder if it's related to the owl. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Okay. Yeah, one more. Yeah, a wasp. What a wretched thing. The last time of Lysos, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Yeah, I see. In that case, ahem. Yeah, allow me to share a fact with you. Wasps are sometimes called meat bees because they eat meat. Meats of almost any sort. Okay, I didn't know where that was going. I was about to say, what do you mean meat bee? Surely you've seen what a menace they make of themselves at picnics. Tis hardly the worst of it. What fuck? Aggressive predators with venomous stingers. Wasps not only hunt and eat other insects, they paralyze their prey, then drag their vis victims home alive, leaving them for their lava to feed upon. Simple. Oh, suddenly a simple sting seems quite tolerable. Any hoot. That's my, my sincerest thanks for the donation. Okay. Distant cousin of the meat coconut. <laughs> but see... The meat coconut is because you eat the meat coconut. You don't eat the meat wasp. It's, it's funny how the same ordering of words can mean different things. Imagine eating a wasp would not be pleasant. Or viable for that matter. Oh, I don't have that wood. Can't use iron yet. Wait, yes, I have that wood. Oh, it doesn't count storage. I gotta take stuff out. Right. What do I need? I need soft wood. Okay. I forgot about I swear it took it into account, but I guess not. Wood, soft wood. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with this one for now. I may as well make the table. Gonna make it feel more like a home. That's, that's a little little better, right? It's like it's still bare bones, but I I am making my effort to have something that kind of makes sense <laughs> to some degree. 
It's, it's not going to look amazing right away, but I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to be more active in making things look good, as opposed to my usual thing, which is like, achieve objectives, then make things look nice. I don't know, I just... So many times I, I get told, can't you just make it look nice now? So I'm trying for once, you gotta give me credit. Bottled ship would be nice, but for now I'll, I'll put it in storage. Apparently, Nook Miles. And, oh, damn it. There's two, there's two that are just like, pretty much right there. What is this, like one more shell and one more bug. Alright, quickly, quickly, quickly. Bug. Okay, and let's finish this off. I wish it was a little less subtle. I can't tell if I got them all, I don't think I do. That one's been acquired. This one hasn't. Alright, that should do. Come on, one more, one more shell. There we go. Yeah, good measure, just in case. I might be able to purchase the wheel thing as well. And then from then on, I, I guess I can focus on trying to get the villages I want. No, I'll keep that. Oh, I forgot to sell the butterfly. thing. I learned how to switch tools up to bring the tool ring. Yeah. So now when I need to catch that bug quickly, I can. It won't vanish right away. Which, yeah, I wasn't prepared for it. Okay. Right. Up for bug net. Up. Actually, not. I'll do this. Up for fishing pole. 
Opapol, um, um, uh, that. Since I'm a lefty, I'll we'll shoot with this. To dig, dig down, right? Makes sense. Make things look right. <laughs> Water it. Very, very weird logic. And then I guess, like, style. Bottom right. Don't know what bottom left is gonna be. I wish you could make wetsuit one. Get in and out of your wetsuit. Okay. I think that's good. I had logic. Alright. Well, that'll do it for today with Animal Crossing. Just under two hours. Decent enough session. Alright, well, if you've reached this far on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying the playthrough of New Horizons so far. And if you have, remember to click buttons such as that like button and stuff that appease YouTube's algorithm. It does help out the channel a lot, just so thank you to those that do do that in all seriousness. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, whilst you're waiting for more of this, you can always check out me playing other stuff. So probably by this point, YouTube's popped up to other videos of mine if you want to check that out as well. But yeah, till next time. Bye, YouTube.